Nandy. Uh, thank you for joining me. Again, Dr. Parth and Nandy, for those of you who haven't met me. And today I'm excited about all of these stories, you know, and these are amazing, like science fiction stories. Today I'm talking about a 3D heart. So 3D heart, for those of you uh, who have, have never heard of this before, you know, this is uh, it's pretty cool. So it's Israeli scientists are talking about a heart that they can make with a 3D printer. So it's, you know, we always thought that this kind of stuff would be, you know, it could, could happen, but it's happening now. And so really, I, I always love uh, stories like this because it just shows the miracle of modern medicine. You know, we talk a lot about natural therapies and, and how to prevent disease, but you know, when you have disease and you can do something about it, that's also incredible. When you got a bunch of smart people that can, that can, that can really make a huge difference. And today we're talking about how possibly you can make a 3D heart, right? Uh, you know, a, a heart from a 3D printer, rather. So thank you for joining us uh, on Instagram uh, Live and Facebook Live. Let us know where you're joining us from. And if you think this story is interesting and important, share it with uh, your community. Uh, thanks uh, for all of you for joining us. So let's get right to it. So major medical breakthrough. And we're talking about uh, the some scientists in Israel printed a 3D heart. So what what's happening is that the, what's the number one cause of death in America and, and, and also a lot, of North, a lot of North America is heart disease. So wouldn't it be nice if we could do something first to prevent it, right? But also to do this, to, to be able to, to actually treat it. So these incredibly smart people, way smarter than I am, have actually figured this out. And and they've actually figured out a way to be able to do this. So now a 3D heart is 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 something that's been created before. So what's different? In the past, when these 3D printers created these these cells, these hearts, uh, they actually were were simple like tissues. They didn't have blood vessels, as all many of you know, that you need what? You need blood vessels to supply the heart. And hearts uh, without the blood vessels won't live. So what's, what's really amazing about this new technology is that it's now possible to 3D print the entire heart with cells and ventricles and chambers, blood vessels. So the ventricles are the things that pump the blood through the, through the body. And so now this technology can actually make that. And this this prototype is quite small. Right now, it's only about two and a half centimeters. That's about the size of a uh, the heart of a rabbit. But still, it's great. You know, we're talking about making these these uh, these little hearts, which can actually perhaps one day become you know uh, the size of human hearts. It took about three hours to print this uh, little little heart that was two and a half centimeters. So the the researcher estimating that it would take about you know a day a day to be able to print a human heart. Wouldn't that be cool if we could actually do that? So, uh, you know, I think that it's amazing. Say hi to some people that have joined us. Lorena Tapia from uh, LA, California. Welcome, Jessica Thompson. Let us know where you're from, Jessica. Nika, Nikki Ordinsky from Perth, Australia. I wonder, what is this now? It's, is it going to be close to winter? I can't even remember. It's now, no, it's probably the fall for you, huh? And uh, Susea Green joining us. Melissa Elderson, Awesome. Our amazing nurse manager, um, Melissa, is joining us. Mohammed Adan from Nashville. And uh, Haj, Hajrija Kajik from Vermont. And Mohammed No Ahmad uh, from Philippines. And hello from Guan from Helen Devera. Chantal and Tim Chisholm. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Delita Danielle Ishkainian from Toronto. Uh, we just uh, flew in to Toronto not too long ago. So well, thank you for joining us. Kathleen Ro Ro Robotnik from Chesterfield and all those you guys from, uh, um, from from Instagram as well. Welcome. So people say, what what are you talking about? Printing. You know, the thing we think about, like if there's a printer, I've got a printer in my left here that prints paper. What are we talking about? Well, here's the thing. The, the heart is made of human cells, right? So what scientists did was, was take fatty tissue and then separate it into cellular and non-cellular components. Then they, what they do is they take those that, that component and then reprogram the cells that become stem cells. Stem cells are capable of what? Making anything. That's what they call them stem. And then the stem cells turn into heart cells. And, and then what the, the 3D printer now needs is ink. It's kind of funny talking about it. It's quote-unquote ink. 
and then this ink is made up of patients' biological materials, right? So stuff that you have that's that that they can create stuff from usually sugars, proteins that are turned into this gel, and then using this biological material is super important. Why? Because whenever you put something in a human body, right, it wants to get rid of it. It wants to basically uh, reject it. So that's why having a patient's own tissue is super important. And then, uh, and then, then hopefully it can it can survive and 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 pump blood where people who don't have a heart uh, to be able to do this again. Number one cause of death in America. We're talking about 3D printing hearts. And Sue Davison says it's amazing. I've always think of my family members who have passed from heart disease years ago. Could they be saved now? Uh, you know, definitely in the future, Sue. Right now, they they cannot make the human hearts, but they're they're getting there. It's just amazing. And Swami. Um, Seaport, so be blessed always. Thank you, uh, Swami from Guyana. It's awesome. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Uh, and then, and Ola from Grand Blanc, Chantal and Tim Chisholm. Appreciate it. Uh, Gomer General, hello from uh, Mapun uh, Tawi, Tawi Tawi, uh, Philippines. Am I saying it right? Tawi Tawi. It's awesome. And Kathleen Robotnik says, uh, you know, lost many many family members to heart stroke it, it's a killer and that's why we're talking about this because you know what it's 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 really important to know that you can do something about this which is where before you could not do anything about this or you know and again i'm not saying this is this is the end all but man it gives us so much hope imagine those stem cells now if they can learn how to do it with hearts we, what about liver you know people need liver transplants kidney transplants right so it's it's so it's so amazing that you can do all these things uh, that you couldn't do before. That's the point of giving people hope, giving people understanding. And so, if you like what we're talking about, please share this with uh, your, uh, you know, your friends uh, and and also your community. What about so people say, well, what what do we do? How how will this be able to fight heart disease? You know, are we replacing the heart? Well, it's you know, it's it's really possible that full transplants can happen down the road. We're talking about. Your little two five two point two and a half centimeter heart that could be the size of one of a rabbit, right? So we're talking about that, but in the future it could really uh, turn to full fledged heart transplants. However, it's it's most likely that this technology would be used to patch diseased hearts. Really important because if you have a diseased heart for whatever reason, then you could patch them with this with this tissue. That's still awesome, and and you know the the idea is that you don't always just want technology to save us, but reduce your risk of, of heart disease. Be your own healthy robot, not using tobacco, eating a heart-healthy diet, maintaining a healthy weight, and exercising 30 days, 30 minutes uh, most days of the week. That really helps you. And that's what we talk about in the healthier community. You know, if you if you uh, if you like what you're talking about, if we're talking about, then please join the healthier community. I'd love for you to, to share lots of great information with you. So, uh, super cool. Again, you know, for those of you who just joined us, we're talking about 3D uh, printing your heart. And right now we're talking about, you know, before we would have just simple tissues. Now they contain blood vessels and hearts, you know, with blood vessels and chambers are possible. And and I think it's really amazing. So I wanted to share with you and 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 really get your comments. So if we have any, if you have any comments that we have not replied or any questions, please uh uh, let us know and we will get to them. So remember, make healthy living a part of every day. And that includes taking care of your heart. And then, you know, in the future, you know, when your heart is no longer working well, maybe we could 3D print it or your brain or your lungs or whatever it is. So hey, thank you for joining us wherever you are. Uh, again, this is, this is uh, uh, you know, important to you. And these types of topics are important to you. Join our Healthy Row uh, community. You've got the link right here. And uh, remember, make healthy living a part of every day. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.